What is it? It's like a little industrial controller that runs basic. There's a little two line by 20 character VFD, which is kind of damaged. It does kind of work. I think I can fix that. It's just dirty contacts and stuff like that. A little keypad that on there and some IO points to hook up to whatever you're hooking up. And there's little LEDs to show you which ones are on and off. And then inside, there's a bunch of cards. There's like a power supply down here and then the actual doodad that does most of the work is a pretty nice little unit here. Kind of obscured by ribbon cables. There we go. So it's got a Z80 on there. A real time clock. No less than three Dallas non voldu SRAMs I'm sure are totally dead. I will dump those though. There's another SRAM here which is battery backed interestingly enough and then there's the EEPROM which contains the basic and then the sticker was on there it says cam basic but it fell off and basically the way this works is you communicate to it through RS-232 so I will hook it up to the um, computer we'll poke it with putty and see what happens and here's a good end view of it Cable going to the keypad there, cable going to our serial port, and then the cable that goes up to that I.O. panel. And then what's also interesting, there's like this prototype board in here, but there's nothing on it. It's empty. It has a, has a reset button in the corner there. There's a little buffer, and that's pretty much it. So that board is fully ready to go. And then the power supply is here, and you can turn it on and off with a switch. And that's pretty much it. And there's really not a lot to see um, when you plug it in. The other end of that serial cable's got a ribbon cable, a little circuit board, and it's got DB25 on it. So what I got here to hook this up, I made this set of cables. And so I can hook that DB25 here up to a DB9. And then this cable here is kind of a gender changer because Oh, actually, this is, oh, oh, yeah, this is the, what is this? Oh, it's just an extension cable. So I can plug that in there, plug that into the computer, and then plug this into our box. Okay, got plugged into the PC, so we'll fire it up. So it looks like all the LEDs are lit. And what good is a basic without the book, right? Just so happens, I have the programming manual too. And it explains exactly how to use everything. That's kind of interesting. The book here says this is copyright 87 Octagon Systems. So I looked them up. And they actually still have some of this information available on their website, but nothing quite this old. They have the model right after it. Yeah, when's the last time you saw something like this? It has like everything about how this works. It has the circuit board stuff, what all the jumpers do. It's an eight megahertz Z80. Interesting thing, the Z80 on the board is actually a six megahertz Z80, but they're running it at eight. It gives you the memory map in hex and decimal, no less, the IO map. So what I'm going to do, I am going to look up how to write to those ports. There we go, now you can see the, the terminal window and that's showing the cam basic doodad. So I can type in a little program. You know, the usual one. And sure enough, it works just like you would expect it to work. You hit control C and it, or, um, yeah, control C will stop the program running just like you would expect it to. So I type new, and reading the documentation to set those ports that have those LEDs on them to outputs, I type config 5, and then comma 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 I do believe. 
there and all the LEDs are, are half, uh, 16 of the LEDs turned off and 8 of them stayed on because the one port's inverted from the others. So what I'll do, I'll read the RTFM here and read up on how to write to the ports. So to write to those LEDs, what I have to do, I have to type out, or I have to type port 0, 1, or 2, comma, and then the value I want. So if I type like port 0, comma, 55 hex, it should light up every other LED. So let's give it a shot. Whoops. So, let's try this again here, with both hands this time, out zero comma, oops, you can't backspace unfortunately, oh it doesn't like that, let's try out zero comma 169, hmm. nothing let's try well that didn't work let's try config five comma one 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 okay now all the LEDs are on well, it's still not working oh it's port zero comma fifty five Okay, there we go. Eh, a little operator error there. So now what I can do by typing that port command, I can turn on and off those LEDs. So to show that, there's a nice tight close up of the LED board. So now I'll type port 0, 2, and the next LED should light up. Port 0, 4, and then the next LED. And 128 should light up the very last one. If I write 55 hex, which is 85 decimal, every other LED should light up, and it does. 170 decimal, the other LEDs should light up. And they do. So then I'll try port 1, which should be the, yeah, that one. And those, port 1 is inverted for some reason but it's working. And then port two is the very last one. And there you go, every other LED's on. Show binary counter, I can write a little program. It's kind of hard with the camera in the way. there that'll write the value there but I'm sure it'll it'll work but it's gonna run extremely quickly it doesn't like spaces in your commands for some reason yep it worked so it's kind of fast so I'll put a thing in here I'll slow it down some Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I'll make it loop back around to the start when it's done counting. So then the program looks like this. Oh, that's interesting where it puts that space after the zero like that. So now that left bank of LEDs will show a binary counter when I hit run and there it goes.
So it's counting up to 100 between each right to those LEDs. If I didn't do that, it would just be a blur and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So it looks like it does work. I was going to take it apart and try to fix that VFD on there. I was going to take it apart and try to get this VFD working again. I have had this work. It was asking to input the time and date on the keypad, and the keypad was actually working too. So I think I just need to fix the electrical connection. This may just have to cycle the plug. One of the dots wasn't working either, but I bet I could probably fix that too. So I hope you enjoyed the little demonstration of this cute little cam basic box. Thanks for watching.